Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, I will show you how to avoid the most common mistake that people make with the past simple and present perfect tenses, and how to use the two tenses correctly. We will do an exercise to really understand the concept, and there's a quiz to test your understanding. So let's start. Have a look at these five sentences. Some of the sentences are wrong. Stop the video, try to make the corrections, then play the video again and check. All right, actually, I tricked you a little bit with that. All of these sentences are wrong. That's because they all talk about a single finished action in the past. You can see this on the timeline. The action can be at any time in the past. It can be 1998, or it can be last week, or even yesterday. But if you mention the time for a finished action, then you must use the past simple and not the present perfect. Notice that in all of these sentences, there's a strong focus on the time when the action happened. So when do you use the present perfect? You can use it if the action happened recently and you want to focus on the action and not the time. In our five sentences, the first three are not recent. They happened further back in the past. But if I bought a house just two weeks ago or last week, I can say, I have bought a house. That means I have bought the house recently. So if I say to you, hey, guess what? I have bought a house, then I'm giving you good news. I'm focusing on buying the house. I'm not talking about the time because it's not important. If you want to know the time, you can ask, when did you buy it? Then I can say, I bought it two weeks ago or I bought it last week. Notice again, to mention the time, we use the past simple. All right, I'm now going to give you a test to see if you can use the two tenses correctly. Just remember, if the past time is important, then use the past simple. If the time is not important, use the present perfect. You see three dialogues on the screen. In each sentence, I want you to choose the correct form of the verb. Stop the video, think about your answers, then play the video again and check. All right, let's discuss the answers. Number one is, hey Sabina, your package has arrived. Here, Ruth is giving news, so there's no need to mention the time. For this reason, we use the present perfect tense. In number two, when did it arrive? We want to use the past simple here because this question asks about the specific time that the action happened. Number three is, it arrived this morning. Because here, Ruth says exactly when it happened this morning. So the past simple is correct. Number four, hi Paul, great news, I have passed my exams. And number five, congrats, when did the results come out? Number six is, they came out last night. Number seven is, have you ever been to Argentina? Here we don't mention a time because the question asks about life experience. The time is not important. So it's like asking, in your life, have you ever visited Argentina? Been means visited here. Number eight is, no, I haven't, have you? And number nine, yes, I went there on vacation in 2010. Here we want the past simple because the time is mentioned, 2010. How many answers did you get right? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd like to thank five of our viewers for sending in the request for this lesson. Michael Cygnus, Saurav Sagar, Alberto Linares, Yogesh Duvedi, and Manish Chautani. All right, click the subscribe button to get more free English lessons, and I will see you in another lesson soon.